Hello guys, I'm here with Bo and Bo's gonna talk to us about termite. How you doing? I'm Bo and with the I termite guy. I just wanna warn you guys before we start the, the video. Bo, he still sounds like he's a very nice and fun guy to be with. Oh, don't, don't so set me this up. This is gonna be like one of the most funny video for the home show this year. Hi Bo. Hi, how you doing? So I have a question for you. Do you own your own termites in your home? Okay, well if you do, give us a call. We got some living termites right here, okay? So this is what they look like. This is what they're doing inside of your house right now. They eat all day, nonstop, 24 hours a day. We just got these a week ago from the company we get them from, and they already sprouted wings and they're ready to fly out. So that's how they look. That's how they look. This so is they're not, you know what I thought for What did you think? That they are very small. There are, there are smaller ones in here. It's harder to see. There's one, and they, they shed their, their skin and they keep growing. These ones are secondary reproductives. These are the ones that are gonna fly out. That's what you see a lot of times. Yeah. And in our home, there's no regulations to stop them. And in the environment, they have to find more dead wood. They have predators, there's temperatures regulating them. But in your home, there's dead wood everywhere, up, down, left, and right. So when these guys go to reproduce, everywhere they can land is more wood and they're gonna keep growing. So I recommend like regular termite inspections and treating your house at least once every five to 10 years. And you can give us a call here so at the termite guy. Yeah. So, so you need to do an inspection every how many years? Every couple of years. They're free with us. You can give us a call if you're a homeowner. So you we do a free inspection. We're gonna go through your home, up, down, left, and right. We're gonna go in your attic, in your garage, and check all the wood. And then with an inspection, you do a free Yeah, we can. Yeah, I tell you how much it's gonna hurt. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna point, that's your problem right there. <laughs> so, hey, if you got a home, you know, hey, you probably got termites in Southern California. We got traffic, termites, and uh, earthquakes. Yeah, so, so after they do the inspections, yeah. they find out that they have termites, so what do you recommend after? It's gonna depend. It all depends on the home and what you need. And, you know, like, if you have a, a, a smaller home, you got termites all over the place in the attic, most likely you're gonna wanna do a fumigation. If you got a larger home, you got a clay tile roof, you got an aquarium in there. Maybe we'll do a local treatment. It so depends on the home and what you're doing. Yeah. This is the, 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 yeah, we got the whole tent right over here. Okay. And we cover the whole home. We shoot it with Vicane gas. Okay. We have to make sure everything is uh, prepped ahead of time. And how long? Yeah, you cover it for how long? It's only three days and two nights. You can get back in on that third day. Oh, it's three days. Three days. So the first day you go up, we shoot the gas in. Okay. You ready to go? You're all packed up. You got the dog, the cat, the kids. Okay, you're gonna go on vacation. You're gone the first day. We shoot the gas in. It's in there for about 22 hours. We come back after that point. We open the tent. We start pulling all the gas out. Okay, for about 12 hours. We're sucking all of the gas out. It's going up in the atmosphere. It doesn't bother anybody. Yes, sir. Because a lot of people like they have this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So before they leave, when it comes to the food inside the house. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good question. Certain foods you leave there, you gotta bag up or remove. So you put them in these bags, your special bags we give you, it takes them out of the process of fumigation, so no air can get in there. keep the freezer as well? Yeah, it's gotta get bagged up too, everything in the freezer. So it's not everything in your home, it's everything that's bagged or boxed. Anything canned or like a sealed water bottle, that's airtight and that's fine. You can't get, air gas can't get through that. the freezer Everything in the freezer, you gotta bag it up, you can put it back in the freezer, but it's gotta be in the bags. Yeah, special Special bags that we give you. Okay. All the food, all the food. All the food. Yeah. Tobacco products. No. It's, it can't leave a residue on any surface. For the amount we're going to use and how long we're putting it in there, it doesn't leave a water droplet or a residue. That's why it's such a great tool. So we shoot the gas in. You don't have to wash the walls. You don't have to wash the pots and pans. So after you finish, you just walk in. You just walk right in. You can use your plate yeah. exactly the same. You don't have to. Some people feel funny about it, so they want to wash their dishes. But yeah, you, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. That's what we if we do it. We've done it for years. So the process is once if you find out that you have a termite, they yeah. call the guys. Yeah. They will go there. They give you bags. You put all the foods inside these bags and leave it inside the house. You yeah. don't have to take it. Yeah. How about the food in the freezer? That's got to get bagged up or taken out. Also, you have to take it out of the house. Or or bag it up and put it back in the freezer. Put it back in the freezer. Yeah. But once the fumigation is completed, then you can just take it out of the back yeah. of the back of the freezer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not so you, so it doesn't 
you don't have to empty the house. That no, something no, it's not. A, you don't have to wash the walls. You know, do all, it's a lot simpler than I think we make it out to be. And then after that, you just walk in. Yeah. Well, before we let you in, we're gonna go through with the meter. We're gonna check every area of your house. We're gonna make sure there is no gas still in the property, and then we're gonna allow you to go back in. So you can get back on the third day in the morning, usually around 10, 11 o'clock. So just a, a question. I yeah. don't know if you'll be able to answer. I don't know. We'll see. Like the cost of the future. all depends on the job, the size of the house, the roof type, and how difficult the job's gonna be. That's why you gotta get the free inspection done, so that we can tell you what's specific to your home. So I can see here, like from the sample, and yeah. show us that this is what the termites do. No. And this is a very extreme example, but that's what they're doing. So on this side, it looks like a totally normal piece of wood. And then if you go on the inside, they've all eaten all the way through. But here's the thing, like after yeah. you fumigate, again, after you kill the termite, yeah. and, it's, and it's a clean house now, how do you, how you treat this kind of wood? Right, that's what you got to replace it. And that's, you can, we can do that also. We have our own wood crew going around. We're going to pull down all the bad wood, and we're going to replace it all with, with good so wood. So the termite will live in two solid woods. Yeah, they're going in. Uh, the ends. Can it live in two, like, uh, MTF? Uh, less, less than that. They usually, like, like, it has a lot of glue in it. But I've seen them eat cardboard, I've seen them eat paper, I've seen them eat uh, through canvas. Uh, all these kind of things there. But they're gonna start at the end grain of the wood. That this is fibrous and they can work their way with it and they start eating with the grain of the wood and eventually they will just, they'll go to everything that they touch. Thank you so much. Fun I stuff, really right? appreciate the time. Yeah. And I really have fun with this video. Okay, okay, cool. As I cool. told you guys, this is gonna be a yeah. fun video. And then stop by if you're at the home show, show, you can see if you can identify termites versus sawdust or sand, and, and you can see some living termites. Too. Have a great show. And Alrighty. Thank you so much for being with us. And uh, good luck with the show. Thanks, there, man.